Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well, you just let me know. Maybe when you're better at crafting, I'll take a selfie with you. Maybe when you're better at crafting, I'll take a selfie with you. I love this place because you can craft whatever food items you want. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? You can combine food items into whatever you like. Let's start with a staple, the burrito. A warm tortilla wrapped around, well, any old something. Here, I'll give you what you need to get started. This here shows how much food you need to fill up that tortilla. Now to just, well done, kid. You can combine food items into whatever you like. Go ahead. See what happens if you combine a burrito and an enchilada. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchirito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell, have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass.
I love this place because you can craft whatever food items you want. One more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out! You dare disrupt the flow of chaos? Hey, Forthy, come play with us big kids! Oh, is a little Forthy afraid? Poor baby! Sark. Fuck. You. Mom. Fuck. You. Fuck. You. Mom. Fuck. You. Mom. Ah, new kid. Come, take a seat. All right, well. How's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg. Psychic. Cyborg. Elementalist. Blaster. Speedster. Blaster. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. Cyborg. Blaster. A blaster with range powers like Cyclops. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night, but the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. As a blazing blaster hero, you began to overheat as the fire in your belly ignited. You wasted no time delivering sick burns into the villains before you. You fried the bad guy. As the flames cleared, the intruders realized what they were up against. Shit, this little flamer means business! Didn't your mom tell you not to play with fire? The intruders moved in to attack! You've left us no choice, kid! Ha, ha, ha! With the enemies closing in, you gave yourself some space by knocking your foes back! The intruders wouldn't take getting pushed around lightly. Hey, you can't push us around like that. <laughs> Little did they know, they set themselves up for destruction. Oh, 
much range. I'll just get out of the way. His comrade fallen. The extra ugly one closed in. Not so hot now, you little flamer. Yeah, we showed him. You were gravely injured, but the intruder's blows only awakened the fires that burned within you. You swallowed the pain and unleashed your ultimate attack! And so you beat them! You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened! You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cunin friends alert! Cunin friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The Cunin friends alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pals! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! No time to waste, butthole. This way, butthole. Toward the bus stop. It's a quicker drought. My coon sins is on fire. Freedom House is on the move. A confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Die, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. No, not that way, Main Street. The Freedom Pals are on Main Street. Woohoo! And right now, we aren't. We're stuck here waiting for you. I can't believe I agreed to this. Praise the Lord! 
Lord, little cuckoo kid. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movies. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense! Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you! By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes! We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just caught his douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ah! Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! Combat mode engaged. Spread the itch. Cartman's only working for himself, new kid. Immortal fourth grader. Car! Car! You trying to get killed or something? Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Clear. All right, my turn. Pool nicely under their skin, Super Craig. Prime for drinking. Well, dude. Engage, Temper Tornado. Oh, maybe that'll knock some sense into you. Taking a blood sample now. Dude, you are trying way too hard. Bug fight. to leave some scars. Oh, I'm up? Okay. Nightmare, I aspire to be. Oh, Christ, I need a cup of coffee. Here I go.
Tweaks hurt. What a surprise. Here comes Tupperware. Tupperware Tornado. Ah. You think you're still on the right side? Yes. Going for blood, guys. regret their life choices. Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about code? Oh, shit. Come on. Code, what happened? Timmy got away? He, he completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Hello, is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. There you are, butthole. All right, let's get to work. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. What girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? Look, if you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom! That's why I'm here! Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom stop, and- Stop, stop! This is not what's important right now! We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo! Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends! He's such a fucking idiot! It's okay, calm down. 
I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, Butto. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. Kitty, kitty, come on, kitty. What's wrong, Forty? Shit yourself? Go change your diaper. What are you doing talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? Yes, I said we were aware of our child's gender issues. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a key. with the power of diabetes at his control. I used to be a simple elementary school student, but then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick, we're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. Ready? Let's go, sidekick. Kyle's this way. Fuck, bitch! 
Let's see how you like this. I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick. Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive. I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here. Hey, give me my keys. You are in no condition, sir. I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look. I'm fine, okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! You think you can dance with this? Let's go. Take care, sidekick. Even debilitated, this is a dangerous foe. I'm not debilitated. I'm just jovial. Hey, I almost spilled my drink. Stand back, sidekick. I'll take care of this. Oh, sure, mess with the sober guy. Oh, hey, the wife needs me to pick up some feminine products. So whoa, 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 how'd I end up over here? Stop him, sidekick! <laughs> you punk! That would have totally hurt if I could feel anything. I feel so tired all of a sudden. All right, you're gonna get it now. Holy impervious to pain. Give me my fucking keys. Again. Let's do this diabetes and whatever the fuck the other. I can't believe I did that without falling. Get that sidekick. How that stings. Got a poop. Give me my goddamn keys. I'm afraid that's impossible. I'm really fucking dangerous right now. Yeah. I'm fine to drive. I'm fine. Okay, okay. Okay, now I'm fine. You can be fine to drive at approximately 11 a.m. tomorrow. It's 11 a.m. somewhere. You're no match for Captain Diabetes than you crusty sidekick! Oh, I'll get those keys right after this short little nap. Good night, Mr. Marsh. There's a shortcut through human kite space. Kyle's off on another mission right now. We're on our own, sidekick. It's up to us to get to the bottom of this. Just head upstairs, sidekick. The shortcut's up there in the attic. The coon gave us permission to use it. Thank you. 
sometimes, when I have too much sugar, I get really angry and strong. I call it my diabetic rage. Sometimes, when I have too much sugar, I... That's one second. This is humankind's secret base. Farts make me angry. The clone says it's because my mom farted when she gave birth to me, and that's why I have diabetes. Uh, I don't think that's why I have diabetes, though. I think it was a gift to help fight crime. The shark could have through that window. Stop wasting your superpowers on me. Let's clear a path, sidekick. I don't have my own secret base, but if I did, at least I'll clean it up before I knew I had super guests coming over. Couldn't even set up the ladder for us. Gee. This shortcut will take us right into the heart of downtown South Park. Come on, Psychic, do not be afraid. The fearless hero in his sidekick descend into the dark night, ready to strike down evil and bring peace to the city. You don't think people get diabetes because their mom started doing childbirth, do you? I, I feel like Kuhn made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, Sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. We've got to get into the Peppermint Hippo, to the town square. <laughs> Best band in the fucking world. They could have me if they wanted to. Freebird! I got it. Hey, no cutting. My diamond rage will do just a trick. Oh my god, here it comes. Just so much sugar. It is. Here's where we're going to find the girl. There are sure to be unsavory characters and lots of boobies inside. Come on, let's go inside. Hey, beat it, kids. 21 and over only. Get inside, citizen. It is I, Captain Diabetes. I must speak with the ladies inside. Get out of here before I fucking throw you out. What to do? Hmm, there must be another way in somewhere. Look at this sidekick, a way in. All we need is a path up there. Now we just need a way up there. Over here, sidekick. I have an idea. Oh, of course. Stand aside, sidekick. Me out. You're 
gonna make me- Oh, now it's gone everywhere. Oh, wow, you got some components out of there. You can craft all kinds of things from components. All right, guys, we got a special treat for you on the main stage. Please put your hands together for Destiny. We have to pick someone and take them to the VIP room. Can't talk right now, guys. Too busy dropping these jams.
I do this eight hours a day, my core strength is insane right now. We have to pick someone and take them to the VIP room. told you Trinity just gave birth. Talk about dedication. Be sure to tip your waitresses. We have to pick someone and take them to the VIP room. Still time to get your GED. Give it up for Trinity. Welcome to the gun show. We have to pick someone and take them to the VIP room. and I'll let you suck on my implants. Daycare is behind the ball, sweetie. Hey, guys, hey, don't look, huh? That's okay. I found a couple guys. Remember to just play along. Hey, you two girls ready to party? So this is your friend, huh? She's fucking hot as fuck. That's right. Wouldn't you like to take her to VIP? I don't know, she's kind of short. I like them short. You take the one with the speech impediment. Come on, let's get some dances. I was thinking we could just go in there and talk for a little while. Yeah, first we get dances, then we talk. Oh, okay. So, have you gentlemen ever had dances from a girl with a penis tattoo? Hey, we didn't come back here to talk, baby. Yeah, no talking until you finish grinding on our chubs. Oh, all right. Okay, sidekick, you know what this means. <sighs> Don't forget to bring a towel. 
Oh, come on, you're killing my buzz here. Ah! Come on! Look, I'm not gonna pay for this. Ah. Taking out the VIP room. What kind of move was that? talking about a stripper with a penis tattoo. Yeah, yeah, Classy, that's her name. Her name is Classy? Yeah, Classy with an I and a little dick that hangs off the C which fucks the L out of the ASS. Of course, hence the tattoo. We have the name, new kid, come on. What are you talking about? This is the worst VIP experience ever. Yeah, all I did was get farted on. You ain't going nowhere. Ha-ha, I am the ordinary stripper. I am Captain Diabetes. What? My sidekick and I simply used our powers of disguise to extract information from you. Hey, you won't get away with this, Captain Diabetes! Oh shit, my boner is weighing me down! Yeah, all I did was get farted on! Strip club doesn't even give out frequent boner cards. I got a group on that'll get me and four friends thirty percent off chub if we show up before seven. <laughs> the nerve of that villain! You got your dance, you smelly old man. No refund. Like a dance. Ah, that's the last time I pay for a high price twenty dollar stripper. Oh, that must have hurt. Surrender, super twerkers. I want to go to one of those communist countries that give out government subsidized jobs. Oh no! Sidekick! I never should have made you do it! I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau and tell them you only gave me half a job! I know a girl in Cambodia that'll give you a chub and teach you how to kickbox with the price of wine.
I got a chub in Thailand from a girl who had her own chub. Eh, no more of that pieces for you. Let's expedite this combat tactic. Plus, you can't wait. I know a strip club that only has one dollar symbol on Yelp. Oh shit, I think I sprayed my dick. Nobody farts on my balls and walks away from me. If you have any complaints about your lap dance experience at the Peppermint Hippo, gentlemen, I do. Great work, new kid. Now let's get back to the main floor. All right, guys, hope you're having a good night out there. Be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the DJ. Next up on the main stage, we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way. Let's give it up for Esmeralda. That's it. The DJ calls the bitches names, and then the bitches you know come out of that back room. Nuki, we need to find a way to distract the DJ. <gasps> I got it. Gin and tonics always make my mom pass out. If we can make one and spike it with something really strong, he'll be out for sure. Go make that drink, sidekick. High school is in session. Still time to get your GED. Give it up for Trinity. Take a look around. But that'll definitely take the DJ out long enough for us to call out Classy. 